Good evening, everyone, and welcome back. Uh, today is an awesome day for me and Peppers. Um, I was able to amass a ton. Uh, hopefully you guys saw the picture that I posted earlier. Um, I'm still just absolutely blown away by the size of some of these peppers. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about the Seven Pot Congo, which is one of the uh, monsters that I am just absolutely jaw dropped about. So when I got other boxes before, uh, usually they'll come in a small, um, small flat rate box, and uh, I had one friend who decided that he doesn't send anything through small because his peppers didn't fit, and um, well, I believed him. I wasn't sure of the magnitude of how true that was. And when I got my box, um, I did get a medium-sized box, and I was absolutely blown away by the size of the pepper. So uh, let's go through, and I will show you guys what we are working with today. So uh, to give a little bit of relevance, so there it is in compared to the size of a quarter. Um, it is absolutely huge, and like this isn't the only one. So there's that, like. Again, another giant pepper. Another one. Another one. And to kind of give reference, so here's about the size of the peppers that I've been eating. Here's about the size that the peppers that I got. So with that, like, these are probably two to three times the size of a lot of peppers that I've been eating which is just absolutely jaw-dropping. Um, it is ridiculous the size that some of these peppers get. Um, some of them are as big as small bell peppers, and that is astonishing to me. So um, I'm excited to chop in my first one. Uh, I wanna see how that dimension affects everything else. So let's get into this. So already from the cut, I can tell it's a very, very crunchy pepper. Um, there were a couple of my peppers that, uh, due to time, definitely uh, started getting the better of me. So here's the inside, and even kind of like shaped bell pepper-ish. So right there, um, huge, huge membrane, fairly medium-sized wall, kind of a fruitier flavor. Um, but again, this is seven pot, so it's probably going to be right around that million mark. Um, but another side of that is, again, like these are just so much more pepper. Um, I am just kind of blown away with it. So let's see, get my cameras all back to where it's supposed to be. Um, with that being said, uh, go ahead and rock this out. So there we go. Cheers. Definitely pretty warm. Right off the bat. Again, just so much frickin' pepper. Oh, um, Flavor-wise, it's actually really, really amazing. Um, it started out fairly fruity and a slow uptick for the heat. But now it's kind of hitting me like a wave. Um, oh, man, I might even end up with hiccups on this one. So... Uh, Definite sign of heat. <laughs> yep. Um, as you may remember, my video with my friend Matt, um, he ended up getting hiccups due to the heat. <laughs> oh, it is um, definitely one of those qualifying factors of what the body goes as kind of that reactive uh, force to it. Um, 
So again, this is supposed to be about a million, but it, it feels a little bit warmer than that. Uh, tip of the tongue's on fire. Uh, kind of the throat's on fire. Um, definitely feel my cheeks are pretty warm. Uh, uh, fruitier flavor, but uh, pretty intense heat. Oh. Um, probably not as bad as like the Reapers and stuff like that that I did, but still definitely pretty freaking hot. Um, and I don't know if that's just partly due to the sheer volume of pepper that was there, or if a lot of it has to do with the Scoville. <clears throat> oh man. Um, I feel my eyes are kind of watering from it. Definitely drooling. Um, yeah, no, this is a phenomenal pepper from... The research um, I did, these peppers can get up to like, or these plants can get up to like six feet when grown in ground, um, which is kind of amazing if you imagine a pepper plant taller than me. But it kind of needs that for as large as these pods are. Uh, a lot of people like doing sauces. Now I'm starting to get that full mouth burn. Um, because there's just so much pepper. Uh, one of these could easily go through and do several jars of like uh, peppered um, pickles or um, tossing this in you can add it to obviously multiple um, containers or jars because again there's so so much um, so I'd say between the hiccups this burn um, it's every bit of like a seven, maybe an eight, uh, inside of the lips or on fire, not necessarily the lips itself, but just almost gums. Um, yeah, no, this is a phenomenal pepper. Um, I'm going to try to get through as many of these while they're still fresh as possible. Um, I do feel that I'll probably have to freeze a lot of these, probably dehydrate a good amount of them. Um, but my goodness, these are delicious. Um, so thank you all for joining me. Um, I look forward to trying to be a little more active on doing these um, now that I have so many more peppers. Just kind of that motivation to really go through and, you know, not misuse my peppers and get them while they're fresh. So um, thank you all for joining me, and I will see you again soon.